Prince Harry is turning 34 today, saying goodbye to 33 and no doubt one of the best years of his life. Now married and settled down with Meghan Markle, how will Harry spend his birthday? Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, 34, is celebrating his 34th birthday today. Everyone's favorite prince has perhaps had the best year of his life, getting engaged and married to the love of his life, Meghan Markle. Last month his wife celebrated her 37th birthday, with the couple spending the day at the wedding of one of Harry's closest friends. Now his turn to celebrate, how will Harry and Meghan be spending his special day? Harry's 34th birthday is the third birthday the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have celebrated as a couple, after they started dating in August 2016. Despite just months away from being engaged, the couple actually didn't get to spend Harry's 33rd birthday together. The loved-up couple spent the day apart, with Meghan back in Toronto filming for Suits and Harry back in the UK. However, this year is set to be different, with Meghan and Harry no doubt spending the day together. While their exact plans remain under wraps, an E. News report revealed last year that Harry doesn't like to make a big fuss on his birthday. The couple quietly celebrated Harry's birthday the weekend before in London last year, just the two of them, which is reportedly how Harry liked it. Talking about his 33rd birthday, the E. News report continued, he opening bracket Harry closing brace liked that it was just the two of them. Sometimes it doesn't have to be a huge thing with a group of friends. One new addition to the couple that will be joining them for Harry's birthday today is their new rescue Labrador. Making the first steps to starting a family, the Duke and Duchess got a dog in early summer reported by People magazine to be called Oz. The new pooch joined Meghan's rescue beagle, Guy, who traveled to the UK with her when she moved from Toronto. Sadly the Duchess wasn't able to take her other dog Labrador Shepherd Mix Bogart with her when she made the move. Ahead of her husband's birthday today, Meghan was reportedly spotted outside of Kensington Palace with the couple's new dog. Lisa Petrillo, who is an entertainment journalist for CBS Miami claimed to have made the spot. She posted to her Instagram account, so incredibly enough, walking by at Kensington Royal we spotted this beautiful woman with a familiar air outside the entrance to the private residence where Harry and Meghan live. Meghan? Her dog was doing his business. She couldn't have been sweeter. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are keeping fans waiting for a royal baby announcement, but their upcoming tour could mean the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will wait a little longer to start a family. Bookies slashed the outs on Harry and Meghan's first child being born next year to 1-4 from 1-3 last week. But with Meghan Markle visiting Zika-infected Tonga and Fiji as part of her first official overseas tour with Harry in October it is unlikely the Duchess will be planning to get pregnant. And this is because health officials have advised women visiting areas plagued by the highly infectious virus to wait at least six months before trying to conceive. This means the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's visit to Australia. New Zealand and the Pacific Islands of Fiji and Tonga will mean they could have to wait until almost a year into their marriage before attempting to start a family. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, confirms Zika has been reported in Tonga. It added the only real danger was to those who are pregnant. The CDC stated, Zika virus has been reported in Tonga. Public health officials have reported that mosquitoes in Tonga are infected with Zika and spreading it to people. Many people infected with Zika virus do not get sick or only have mild symptoms. However, infection during pregnancy can cause severe birth defects. Because there is no vaccine or medicine for Zika, travelers should take steps to prevent getting Zika during travel. They should also take steps to prevent spreading it when they return home. Meanwhile, the International Association for Medical Assistance for Travelers declared Fiji has presented evidence of ongoing Zika virus transmission. It said, 
there is evidence of ongoing Zika virus transmission in Fiji. Take meticulous anti-mosquito bite measures during the daytime. Pregnant travelers should postpone travel to this country. The royal couple's whirlwind tour will see Meghan and Prince Harry seek to increase their engagement with Commonwealth nations, after the prince took on the role of Commonwealth Youth Ambassador in April. The tour will focus on the recovery and rehabilitation of servicemen and women through Prince Harry's 2018 Invitus Games in Sydney. Kensington Palace said, the program across these four Commonwealth countries will focus on youth leadership, environmental and conservation efforts including the dedication of several new Queen's Commonwealth canopy projects and the recovery and rehabilitation of servicemen and women through the Invitus Games Sydney 2018. The 16-day visit will take place between Tuesday, October 16 and Wednesday, October 31. Meghan and Harry have shown they are naturals with children on recent visits across the UK, as they are repeatedly pictured laughing and joking with their young royal fans. In the four months since erstwhile Hallmark actress Meghan Markle married Prince Harry, she's completed many a royal first. Markle attended Trooping McAllure where she received a few pointers from her new husband on the balcony, had a sleepover with Queen Elizabeth on the royal terrain, and watched tennis matches at Wimbledon with Kate Middleton. Markle also travelled to Ireland on a two-day visit with Prince Harry earlier this summer. And next month, she'll have her first official overseas royal tour. Kensington Palace announced that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were embarking on their tour of Australia. Fiji, the Kingdom of Tonga and New Zealand back in June, but now KP has revealed the dates and locations of the couple's trip. The tour will focus on the recovery and rehabilitation of servicemen and servicewomen through the 2018 Sydney Invitus Games a sporting competition for wounded, sick and recovering service members and veterans that Prince Harry founded in 2014 as well as the forest conservation efforts of Queen Elizabeth's Commonwealth Canopy projects. It begins Tuesday, October 16, in Sydney, where the duo is reportedly staying in a $40 million villa overlooking the harbour. They're not staying put for long, though, as they head to Dubbo and then Melbourne before returning to the country's largest city on October 20th for the start of the Games. Other stops include Fraser Island, Suva and Nadi in Fiji, Auckland and Rotorua in New Zealand, and Nuku'alofa in the Kingdom of Tonga. Specific activities haven't been announced yet, though Kensington Palace said more details will be revealed closer to the tour. However, we can't look at Prince William and Kate Middleton's April 2014 Australian tour for a few clues. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's three-week journey included a special guest, the then eight-month-old Prince George, on his first official tour. Their trek coincided with Anzac Day. Australia's National Day of Remembrance for those who have served, suffered and died in war, and the couple attended a service in Canberra, Australia's capital, for the occasion. They also went to the Sydney Opera House and the National Portrait Gallery, and both attempted to show off their DJ skills in Adelaide. But it was Prince George who won Australia, displaying his advanced sartorial choices, which included various cardigans, embroidered rompers and Peter Pan collars. The then family of three also visited the Taronga Zoo to open the official Prince George Bilby exhibit, where the future King of England met a Bilby named after him while wearing a chic blue ensemble that coordinated with his dad's. A grip to the zoo isn't on Harry and Markle's travel list yet, so we'll have to wait and see if we get any snaps of the red-headed prince receiving a toy Bilby like his nephew did. For the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's current itinerary, check out the schedule below. Tuesday, October 16, Sydney, Australia. Wednesday, October 17, Dubbo, Australia. Thursday, October 18, Melbourne, Australia. Friday, October 19, Sydney, Australia. Saturday, October 20, Sydney, Australia. Sunday, October 21, Sydney, Australia. Monday, October 22, Fraser Island, Australia. Tuesday, October 23rd, Suva, Fiji. Wednesday, October 24th, Suva, Fiji. Thursday, October 25th, 
Nadi, Fiji and Nuku'alofa, Tonga. Friday, October 26, Nuku'alofa, Tonga and Sydney, Australia. Saturday, October 27, Sydney, Australia. Sunday, October 28, Wellington, New Zealand. Monday, October 29, Wellington and Abel Tasman, New Zealand. Tuesday, October 30th, Auckland, New Zealand. Wednesday, October 31st, Rotorua, New Zealand. <laughs>